So if you guys want to see Duggo fall through a haunted house floor, stay tuned. It's going to be good. So would you, uh, would you trust this with your life? Trawling in there, take a hose off that holds this up. Probably not, but we gotta do it. I also got blocks here, so it shouldn't be able to come down. This is here. I did have this totally out. The blocks are holding this up, um, but I got this here for a secondary point of safety. So we should be good to uh, take this supply hose off and uh, get this to town. We gotta do it somewhat quick because mom is on her way over to go to an appointment and that hose needs to be with her. Let's both stand under it. <laughs> I got this loose, it's not leaking though. There's no oil there. Good. Where'd it go? Well, Doug did say it was low last year. I don't even know where the, there's so much dirt. Eye surgery. Like Duggo. You took one to the face, huh? All right, you work on this. I'll go to a safer job and work on the backhoe hoses. So, like I was saying in the last video, these hoses here that have absolutely no rubber left on them on the backhoe here, you'd be absolutely foolish to uh, expect that these will last much longer. And uh, it's preventative maintenance. They're not blown up, but just when you'll need it the most is when you'll be sitting leaking oil out. All right, we'll let those drain so they don't get all over the vehicle. And I got a couple more to take off. One right down here too, same, same problem. Same problem, and then one on the actual extender hole. Well, I got my four hoses removed, and I don't think anyone can argue that we didn't get our life it's worth out of those hoses because those are junk. And I got four hoses off, and Eric's still working on one. You know, I kind of figured you'd say something. <laughs> Sometimes you got to bring out the tools, right? We're going with an air hammer on a hydraulic hose. If I can. Sometimes hydraulic hoses can really be a battle, especially when you can't get in there with wrenches. Yeah. And um, I'm sure nothing's rusted on this. No. So we got the uh, hose off, but that uh, apparently is directly, the pump is obviously hooked to the reservoir. So now we're draining the whole reservoir and it was somewhat of a surprise if you can't tell. We just won't tell Doug we're using his blue jeans. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so the way that this hydraulic oil, this got really exciting really quickly. <laughs> uh, the way this hydraulic oil looks like motor oil probably is a good sign that should change it. So yeah. this isn't all that bad. It's just that it's an extreme, extreme mess. That was, we should have maybe used our heads and understood that that might have happened. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, you can't. This is what happens so, when Doug says, Mom will be there in 15 minutes. Get them hoses off. What I thought is you can't Slop. move this thing when it's not running. So I thought, ah, oh, it should all be seized up unless we start the truck up. Well, that was wrong. <laughs> It'll, hydraulic will flow. Well, regardless of the mess, this is a good thing. I'm glad I brought over two more old t-shirts <laughs> yesterday. They'll be needed. Actually, they were sucking up my last spill, so. Oh, boy. That's it's a full time job here. <laughs> you can buy new clothes once a week because right? we spill oil so much. I think it's about done. We could probably walk away for a couple hours now. <laughs> so I've got the uh, bucket of miscellaneous clothes. So we have a sock. Look, look, this looks like a hospital sock. What the 
Yeah, we got some them ones with the grippy on the bottom and everything, you know. Some old used up blue jeans. That'll work. You know, it's always exciting when you find underwear. But you never really know whose they are. They could be your mother's, they could be your grandmother's, they Those could be your grandpa's. Is that the they could be the big Swedes. Is that the pair with the stain on them? Because <laughs> I got dibs then. <laughs> Hello? Toby. Toby let himself out of the office apparently. <laughs> hey buddy. What's up? Oh, have a dog in the shop, they said. Gets the exercise going. He likes to get rambunctious every once in a while. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, give him, give him. <laughs> if only I could get him trained to uh, help scrape my dog stuff. This is nice and dry, Toby. You could help. Yeah, you could help, Toby. You want to help? I figured I might as well chisel out a little bit of this mud since it's dry here before we decide to wash this tractor just to try to eliminate some uh, work with the pressure washer and fire hose. This is rock solid gumbo. So Eric, you know what's really nice? When you get so excited and in a rush to get these hoses off and then you forget to mark which hose goes to what fitting, there is a perk to videotaping your whole life because you can just play back the clip and watch yourself take it apart. Yeah, I suppose. So there's my tip to you guys. Just record your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having fun? Well, no. I pinched my hand again. Working on electrical stuff. Were you filming Doug struggling with this? Has it now made two of us struggle? <laughs> I'm thinking just cutting all these wires and we'll just push the thing or pull it with horses. <laughs> so we got to go get duels for the 4640 because the guy wants the factory set, yep. the original set, and we get to travel in the... Why'd oh, you hook up the smallest just, pickup to the trailer? Yeah, ain't your new pickup back? Or your new used pickup? <laughs> There isn't much room back here because of the speakers, Duggo. Yeah, I know, you wrecked it. <laughs> What's this? So this was uh, my brother's pickup, or he used it when growing up before he bought his, his beetle bug. And we had subwoofers back here, Eric. You wired it up? You want to do mine? Then Doug can ride with me and we'll rock out. <laughs> no rocking. A little T-Pain? <laughs> T-Pain? Yeah, it's this guy that, I think he's been shot, but he sings. Oh, every one of the new musicians nowadays gets shot once or twice, it's right? It's a trend. It's how you know you're official. Oh, Lord, help us all. <laughs> so, fun fact, Duggo don't like music. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not, that is a true fact. Well, it, I like music, just not this hoopa, hoopa doopa <laughs> stuff that they think is music. Actually, it's nothing but garbage. <laughs> Constant philosophy, you joint. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is what listen? we listen to uh, uh, him talk most of the day. <laughs> hey, there's a radio we need too. Yeah, that's new. Is this, you think this is still juiced up? So, <laughs> I'm only supposed to lift 14 pounds or equal to a milk jug. So, this is heavier than that. Do you want to lift that? Here, I'll hold all these nice people. By golly, I just might take this mailbox. <laughs> you can have it. It's free. Remember when we pulled that out and the hornets come out? Hold it. No, yeah. I, I bruise easily. Do you remember that? Oh, you yeah, I do. Still. Oh, not going to be a Well, there goes the cover. You got it? I got it. Or are we trying to save them? Oh, see what I work with. That's Larson. That's yours. Okay, what are we looking for in here? I got to get these two tires for the front of the 4640. The bigger ones. What, Belair? Is this off of Belair? At least here. Don't scuff that now. That was Roscoe's. 
from the cop car the last one we drove. Oh, wow. What was that? That was breathe deeply, boys. Don't breathe that. That was a... Here, I'm leaving the area here. <laughs> that was just a fluorescent light bulb. I think those are the ones that flew those off the, the trailer old. when we were hauling them over. Those are the old ones. Them. Yeah, they're, they're no good. I don't know why they're in here. Can we breathe again? I think the building has good enough ventilation here with the missing windows and all that. Well, you guys are doing good. <laughs> Is this the tread that was on that thing? Uh, last time these had been on the tractor was when we were cultivating with the Forward lifting. 12 row cultivator. You can do it. Push. Oh yeah. I knew you could. It's nice that the bed is icy. Did you see how he just pushed that all by himself? You know when when this guy sees the tires we're gonna send with him, he'll say, no, I think you can just keep them. <laughs> well I told him they weren't much, but <laughs> are you stopping it from tipping? You going in the deep snow with it? Yeah, might as well. God, that would just take your shin. Doug, you ain't supposed to lift. I know, it said the pressure in the eyeball. One. I didn't lift two. anything there, doctor. Okay, two more front tires now. You want to tell them what these are for? Well, those are the banduels. Oh yeah, you know. The banduels, those are for the old 70. The 70? Yeah, I remember Dad and Grandpa struggling them on. You know, these Look guys. out for that heat hauser above you. <laughs> or whatever this is. I don't Something. know, that's for the front end of a truck. The summer front end. Maybe dead in that. I'm sure you guys are really wondering why we're taping all of this, but whatever. How are these? These are really good Oh, condition. they don't look so good no more. <laughs> I told them. Last time I seen them was about 10, 15 years ago in a shed. Balance up. And, uh, well, they're free. So sometimes, remember this, kid, sometimes holding on to stuff because it might be worth a couple hundred bucks isn't worth it. Yeah. Well the rims <laughs> just, are good. Rims are good. Just get rid of it when you can. That's the mentality here. So this brings us to the next adventure. This you want to tell them about this? This is where Randy, dad's brother that we all farm together. It's coyote trap. He uh lived here when he first got married. What year would that men? 90, 1990. You still have to kick your shoes off. Oh boy! So in 1990, somebody's been in here. I hope that it was in better shape than what it is right now. Eric, did you do that? Probably, I was in here last summer. Are you serious? Someone's been trespassing? Well, that was never like that. Oh, they broke the hinge right off. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god. This is this is sketchy. I hope they find this fascinating cuz not everyone gets to see and view stuff like this. Oh boy. Boy, that's not She's beyond restoring. That's a dead raccoon from coming down. <laughs> the uh oh. The shag carpet's a little spongy. Where's the cistern? This is just sad. So what is your goal about going into the basement? He do, thinks that he's gonna to, get us do down the basement. You know, I've heard, I've seen movies that go like this. It's really going downhill, guys. <laughs> There's no way you'd go upstairs. You'd die. I wonder how this floor is that we're standing on. My eye, I shouldn't be doing over pressure. What do you suppose would cause the paint? Well, it's in just the, come off like this. 
It's easier to eat this way <laughs> or in smaller size chunks. Here, Eric, try to open that up. Am I going to go through the floor trying? There's movement here. Get your fingers in there. Return! Don't say that! <laughs> I'll open it up again. You get them. <laughs> did you, did you see the face that Eric made? <laughs> there probably is. Well, so I don't what have is your no, goal of going down there. I don't have no vision in my lower. So if I slip and fall, you go first. That way. Yeah, me go first. <laughs> okay, where is that first step? Oh, I see him. Oh, and then. It's it's going just like a horror movie. <laughs> the flashlight goes dead. I'm saving mine. Why is it so much frost on the walls? That'd be warm down here. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure none of this footage will be very good at all due to the lack of light, but there's got to be something living down here. Well, here's what I'm after. Good canning jars. Why? Oh, they gotta be worth something. Look at here's peaches. <laughs> Pears. Hey, I'd eat that. Them black ones might not be any good. Oh, the dates are all wore off. <laughs> they went through a lot of hard work and now they're no good. Well, oh, here's one that we can try. Oh my. You think that's bad? Just a little bit of mold. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's salvageable. <clears throat> what's the rum bottles there with the cork in it? Who knows? So what's the rest? Shine your guys' light around. Let's look in here. Follow the camera. Wait, wait till we see something. This is out. when someone's in the corner, <laughs> I'll be honest. This is the movie. There's a knife. Why is there always a knife? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why isn't there no animals down here? It's actually pretty warm down here. That what were you saying about one night at two in the morning? Well, Randy and I used to work over in the town east of us at nights at a Tyler or Red, not Red Ball, Tyler Manufacturing. They made them old uh, Patriot sprayers. Yeah. And the hot water heater wasn't working, so we bought a element that day in town. And at two in the morning, we come home and replaced the heating element, so they had a hot water the next day. You know, I don't know if you find this creepy at all, but his eyeball down in this setting <laughs> is <laughs> really creepy. Is this house held up by old rum barrels? Holy cow! Let's get the camera up there. Look at that old barrel. Oh, very interesting. Nobody has stole the uh, copper pipes out of here yet. No. No, well, I'm I'm pretty sure that everybody's gonna think that we're totally nuts now. We're this is cool. Gone crazy through. I can feel the mold spores setting in in my lungs. <laughs> Should we get out of here? Probably. Do you want any of these jars? <laughs> Well, I thought they were going to be good for canning, but I can see they're not the balls. They're just pickle. Look at how long styrofoam lasts compared to cardboard. The hey, box. you can bring those home for your chickens. My chickens flew away. <laughs> they ventured off. What do you think the year is on that newspaper? Look at their advertising of Plymouth. Chevrolet has two, Ford only has one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Because we only need one. How do you read newspaper? Yeah, uh, well, there's no keypad for turning the page. 25 miles per gallon in a Plymouth? <laughs> I don't buy them. <laughs> they even stated the their lies about gas mileage back in who knows what year. The 60s, 70s? Hey, you know, kids, at any, any you want to come down to the basement? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to take that. No, that did sound like free hugs and candy. <laughs> I apologize to all of you.
skeleton found on beach may be a space alien child. I knew they were real. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at the wiring diagram for the pressure switch on the well. Do you think that you uh, drew that on them? I don't remember. What's that say? Dawn? Down. Spring down. Oh, down. We could wire it up. Right. But it's gone. <laughs> the whole thing is missing. Oh, man, the times we had down here. <laughs> the heating bill is going to kill them. Oh, there's no ceiling upstairs anymore. Are you kidding me? Nothing left. Oh, Let's boy. try and go upstairs. Well, there's this, you can see the attic up there. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Why is it cracking? Hey, I found a computer. Oh, we could bring that to the office. I'm sure that's still. I bet there's updates for that. Mm -hmm. So, this room's livable. What is that? This room might get a little drafty. Wow, she has gone downhill. How long has it been since we've been in here? Four or five years? Oh, oh yeah, for what sure. What do you got in there? An old computer? Yeah. I used song. to come over here as a kid and play in here. We'd put that together after Christmas or something like that. And then the That thing? Got, yeah, it's made out of just plastic cloth. Cat got locked in there and scratched the whole thing all apart. That's uh, all we had. The sink's no longer attached to the wall. The crapper is no longer attached to the pipe. Eric, Eric are you okay? Help. <laughs> Help! I've fallen, but I could get back up. This is nice carpet still. <laughs> this will work. I think. Just need to replace the bulb. Well, I guess uh, we can maybe schedule of uh, schedule an appointment where this one comes down. Yeah, it's over. It's uh, beyond salvaging. Severely beyond salvaging. So we made it out of there. Only a couple of ghosts attached themselves to us, but no, <laughs> there's no ghosts. <laughs> Kids, don't listen to them. Yeah. Do you think that there was lead paint in there? Huh. No doubt about it. Well, maybe not. No, there's no lead paint in there. Uh-uh. You want to say goodbye to them? I hope you enjoyed that adventure. That was fun. Yeah. You know, I like, I like that. That's cool. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time, right? Thanks for watching. <laughs>